Hi everyone, my name's Anne-Marie. Welcome to this card making project. This week we're going to have a special again. We've got three different projects, Monday, Wednesday and Friday, all looking at different Valentine cards. So if you've got a sweetheart or a honey that you need to make a card for, maybe you've got three sweethearts or three honeys that you need to make three different cards for, then the ideas I'm going to give you are all very different, all using Anna Griffin products, um, but three very different styles. So today's style, what we're going to use is a square 6x6 ivory card that I've already cut an aperture out of. Um, and an aperture means I've cut a hole out of the front. I've used one of my own heart stacking dies. However, Anna has got a range of heart uh, dies previously. If you're lucky enough to have those, that would work as well. So simply run it through your die cutting machine as your card open like that. Most die cutting machines, cuttle bug and above, have got a six inch mouth, so that would slide through it. If you've only got a smaller machine, try using a smaller card for it. I've got a big shot, this went through the big shot. It would also go through my Spellbinders Platinum 6 as well. So all I do is open it up, put the die on, run it through and then I've got the aperture. So this is our card base that we're going to look at and I've scored it to make sure it's got a good nice score. Now the aperture that I've cut from the heart die I've cut out using one of the rose papers from Anna's rose collection and it fits just through that hole so I've put tape on it and I want to position it on the inside of the card just in the right place where the aperture is on the front. So I'm going to take the tape away and then I'm going to simply slot it in, a bit like in laid die cutting. I'm going to slot it in the aperture like that and just open the card to make sure it's not sticking to the front of our card and I know that it's in the right place like that and then I've got a second heart that I've cut and I've cut this again from the rose collection and this is from the black heart card and I'm going to pop that in the centre of the heart that's in the middle now that's it for the actual inside what you could do, if you wanted to add more, you could stamp along the edge of the heart here. So it couldn't be seen from the outside, but it's like secret stamping so that you can stamp your message there. You know, I love you or I like you or um, be my valentine, something like that. But that's, for where we're concerned, that's it for the centre. Now we're going to look at decorating the outside. So I've cut a layer of cardstock that matches the heart on the inside, again from the Rose Collection, and I've run it through the die cutting machine with the heart die, and I've got tape on the back of this, and I'm going to use this to mat and layer onto our card. And then that way, it's all going to turn in and match nicely. It'll also make it look like it's not got an aperture, if you see what I mean. And I think that's about it for our tape. Now we position that over the aperture that we've already cut, lining it all up like so, and then closed it looks like a full card but open obviously leaves the heart behind so now we have to decorate it I've used some of the silver flourishes from Anna the stickers and all you have to do is simply peel the back of these away and I'm going to position these onto the card now some of it's going to overlap where the aperture is which is fine, you know, we don't mind. 
to remove some of that sticky just put your finger on it a few times or rub the a kitchen towel on it dot that on just to remove some of the sticky like that so it'll pick up a tiny little bit of fluff not enough for you to be able to see but it'll stop it sticking so then we're going to add a silver flourish at the other side as well and that will go roughly about there that's it like so again take the excess stick away from the back using either your fingers or just a little bit of a kitchen towel to stop it sticking next what I've got is some of the embellishments from the actual rose collection and I've put 3D foam on the back of them and I'm simply going to place one of the roses on the side of the card like that and then I've got double roses that's going to go on this side like so I've got a little message that I've already stamped using the chalkboard stamps and I've tied a little bit of gingham ribbon on the back of it and I'm simply going to place that just at the bottom of our rose like that and then I've also got a silver rose that we're going to place just at the side of our message now this again was in the Silver Flourishes collection and I'm going to place that just like that so it's overlapping the message and the previous rows. And then to finish our card off I've got a little red bow that I'm going to just position at the top of the card above the heart. And that is our card finished. It's kind of an eclectic card with lots of embellishments. Something a little bit different. Open it, you've got your heart. And then you've got your heart aperture. And then you've got your gorgeous florals around the edge. Just for something a tiny bit different that's still really pretty. So that is our card finished. I do hope you've enjoyed this project. So this is card one for your honey and I hope you've enjoyed it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.